Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to complete your first mini project, which is called Netflix and Skill. So the first thing you need to do is do the vocabulary, which is like we've always done. Um, then you go down to task two, which is called Netflix and Skill. Um, so to do this assignment, you're going to need to be able to watch something. It doesn't have to be Netflix. It can be your preferred streaming service, or it could even be maybe something on social media. Maybe it's some trend you saw on TikTok. I don't know. Just something that you're watching um, that you can think critically about. So the aim is uh, asking, how do I watch my current favorite TV show through the lens of age? So when I say lens, I basically mean a point of view, a a framework in your mind. You're looking for kind of one specific uh, aspect or way of looking at something, and in this case it's going to be age, uh, which I'll talk about a little more. Um, so ideally, by task three, you should be able to write an analysis of how age is portrayed in the media. So TV, um, I don't know, maybe you listen to like a podcast or something. It could really be anything. It doesn't have to be a show on Netflix. The first task asks you to just brainstorm, recall off the top of your head, right? So it's saying brainstorm the different ways the various aspects of age are represented in media. What are the biases or stereotypes? How are these aspects portrayed or conveyed by the actors? And this red box, anytime you see the red box, it just means it's an example from me. So the first aspect of age is old people. How do TV shows portray old people? How do we normally think of them? Okay, so this doesn't mean every show portrays every old person like this. But in general, I feel like when I watch TV... Elderly people are often portrayed as being weak or simple-minded. They look like the skinny and frail. Uh, they're kind of dumb, maybe. Um, they seem to get confused by new ideas. They really hate technology. Um, or it's funny when they use technology because like, they're not supposed to be able to. And I feel like media is usually biased against elderly people because they're usually a joke. Right? They're usually kind of like a funny character that is just like out of touch, right? So I just wrote, let's see, I wrote like three sentences just off the top of my head. What you have to do is do the same thing for these other aspects of age. So I have teenagers, how are teenagers shown on TV? High school, getting a job, growing up, boys growing up, I'm sorry, girls growing up, boys growing up. So like when you watch TV, how does the show normally depict these things. What happens? What are they like? Okay, so this is really just purely what you know based on what you've experienced. The next part looks intense, but I, it was actually pretty interesting when I did it. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to watch either a favorite show or a new show or whatever show you're watching or whatever podcast you're listening to. I don't know. Um, watch something and as you watch, think about age and how age gets portrayed on your show. So I am terrible and I'm watching one of my favorite shows for like the 10th time and it's called Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's probably older than I am. No, it's about the same age I am. So it's a million years old. Uh, and just for your reference, here's Buffy. She's my hero. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to just watch the show and you're going to take some notes. So you might think of these aspects up here. You might talk about all of them, a few of them, or maybe only one of them, but multiple times. Or maybe you watch a few different episodes. I don't know. But you're just going to take a few notes. In the first part, you tell me what aspect of aging you're looking at. It can be one of mine, or maybe you think of a new one. Then you're going to just give me a description of the show. I watch a lot of TV, so I'll probably know what you're talking about. But just in case, give me a little background. So this is my description of what's going on in the Buffy episode. It's a little nuts, but just, you know, bear with me. Um, and then at the end, I write the effect, which is basically um, 
how does the way the show portrays this aspect, so in this case, graduating high school, how is the show sort of presenting what it means to graduate from high school? So in my show, there's this huge fight on graduation day, like a big battle. They're like fighting a demon. It's really crazy. And so I'm thinking about it and I'm like, oh, this is showing teenagers being very smart, being very clever. They make a plan. They're strong. They work together. And as I thought about it, I realized, oh, this is kind of showing like what it means to grow up. If you graduate high school, you're supposed to be like ready to go out into the real world, right? And so for me, as I watched the show, I thought, oh, it's basically showing that in our society, graduation is like this rite of passage. You have to prove that you're ready. You have to survive high school and then you get out and you're ready to face the real world. So that was sort of how I interpreted it. And you can read this on your own, but that's the gist. Um, so yeah, you're just taking a few notes based on what you see. Uh, and follow mine as an example. You can get crazy, it's okay. And then down in the task three, apply, I'm gonna provide an example of how to do this, but you're basically just taking what you wrote in your notes and you're turning it into a paragraph. I want like an essay basically about this TV show you watched. And I want your take on how the show portrayed age. Like how are they showing the different parts of age? How are they showing the old people, the young people? girls growing up, boys growing up, graduating high school, whatever it is, maybe something else. And you can use these bullet points to guide you. You're going to have to probably talk a little bit about what's even going on in the show, because I won't know. Um, explain what happens. How do the characters act? What do they say? What do they do? And then the most important part, of course, is what does this mean about how our society treats people in different age groups, what does our society think about growing up? What does our society say is correct? It could be really anything. I just want to see how you're interpreting the TV that you're watching. Um, as a challenge for 5% extra credit, um, do you think that this show should be watched by people in order to understand something about age? For example, do I think people should watch Buffy to understand what it means to grow up as, you know, a teenager. And I would say, yeah. And then I would explain why I think it's valuable to watch the show. Uh, and then last is your reflection. So I hope this is fun. It's really interesting to think critically about stuff you like because you start to see it in a whole new light. Um, it's kind of similar to what you're gonna have to do in college, especially if you like take any like English classes or media classes. This is pretty much all you do, is you look at stuff that exists in the world and you interpret what it means and what it means about our society. So I hope you have fun. I hope that it um, makes you think a little bit differently about stuff that you probably don't think too much about already. So uh, let me know if you have questions and have fun. Bye.